I thought it was uh, it was good focus by our guys to to come out and you know, be ready to defend. And I uh, thought we carried over what we uh, were pretty good at on Saturday to tonight. And uh, you know, in the second half, maybe foot off the gas pedal a bit. But uh, it's the first time we've had you know a 35, 36 point lead with this team. And so we're still learning, we're still growing. But I thought our maturity. You know, Patrick, you talked about it before we played. Like, you know, how do you get 18 to 21-year-old guys to focus? And I thought their focus was extremely sharp. I thought we defended and took away their dribble drive. I thought offensively we really took care of the ball, uh, generated good shots. And uh, second half got to the bonus quicker than we did in the first half. So, uh, you know, <laughs> we move forward, and, and obviously our schedule doesn't get much easier. A.J. Jacobson came in shooting pretty high percentage from three-point range didn't make a three today. How are you able to keep him in check? Um, you know, I just think guys were very attentive to it. You know, when you put up 80% from the three-point line and the nation's leader until, you know, last game because he didn't qualify under the amount of, of, of attempts, um, I don't think you can sort of luck into shooting 80% if you're shooting 18, 20 of them. Maybe if you shoot three or four. So the percentage was, was glaring. And we just wanted to make sure that any time that he was involved in a ball screen or a handoff, there was there were zero communication errors. There weren't two guys on the ball while Jacobson, you know, floated open. And I thought we did that. And uh, he surprised us with a, with his quickness. I know he didn't necessarily uh, score, but he got down the lane a couple times. And probably isn't the best thing he does. Um, so really, really pleased that we were able to um, be as detailed. And understand details as we need. Chris, uh, what was the plan regarding Kaiser coming into the game in terms of his minutes, and did he kind of is that where you expected him to play around 14? Or? Um, no, I, I, I maybe I'm just, I'm not that guy. I just don't necessarily have a plan for how many minutes we're going to play him. We're going to go out there and you know um, play him and see how he does, and you know. His wind is probably the thing that's going to keep him back from playing more minutes right now. It's not necessarily his, his knee. Or it could be mental errors. It could be, you know, forgets plays, whatever the case is. He's done a great job with that. We just felt like, uh, you know, he's, he's building towards being a full-time contributor. He took a big step tonight and uh, a lot better step than he did against Northern Iowa. And I, I think that's going to be the case as we move forward. But I, we didn't necessarily have, hey, this is how many minutes he's going to play. It was, it was odd for Edmund not to take a shot in the first half. Was he feeling okay or just didn't get a good look? I thought he felt great. I thought he looked great. I thought he played with a lot of maturity. Um, you know, if you're a point guard, your team runs the offense that, that the coaches have put in. You get guys in the right spots. I mean, we scored 43 points against a team that's 300 in the country in pace. I thought he generated some really easy looks for his teammates. He defended at a really high level. And so I don't worry about Edmund scoring. Um, you know, he's going to have games where he may get 15, 18 in the game because they can completely disrespect uh, him as a, as a guy that can get to the rim. But, no, he, he played a great floor game as far as I'm concerned. It feels like the last two games your offense has had a little more flow to it. Is that mostly due to Edmonds' play? Um, I think it's a little bit of everything. I think guys are locked in on what makes us a better offensive team, playing deeper into possessions. Uh, Edmund having that pass first, get guys shots. Because he has such a, an incredible ability of getting in the lane. And I think his, his vision has really expanded. A year ago, he could, he could see in front of him, but not necessarily to the sides. And, uh, now his peripheral vision is really good. He's getting easy looks for his teammates. I mean, there in the second half when they went zone, played slow off the ball screen, you know, dribbled right at a defender, and threw it over to Trayvon two times in a row, six points and two possessions. And that's uh, we all know that Trayvon can shoot, and it's good to know that our point guard understands that too. When you look at a guy like number twenty-three, Deng Gu, for their Team. Did, was he someone that had, you saw had the ability to break out and have that kind of game as he did tonight, or was it that a product of you guys shutting down some of their other um, high producers? You know, I don't know. He, I thought he was really aggressive. Um, you know, they redshirted him last year as Gatorade Player of the Year in their state, and so he was a guy that, um, you know, I think certainly they felt like he would be, you know, really capable of having those type of 
nights, but you know their their bigs got in foul trouble. They played him a little bit more at the four. Um, we played a little bit more traditional at times with uh, Rasheed, Sean, Tyree, Kaiser out there, and so you know, they had a couple mismatches. And you know, give the kid credit, but you know, all in all, I thought our defensive effort was really good. Thanks. Tonight? Uh, I felt like in the first half we did. Um, we played up to our standards and uh, felt like kind of second half we kind of took took a step back just a little bit as far as our effort and on the defensive end. Uh, I know they had a couple long runs that we weren't supposed to let happen. So, I mean, it's kind of half and half. Do you feel like that is just a challenge of playing with a big lead or is there more to it than that? Yeah, I would say, you know, um, when we get up big, I, I, we tend to relax a little bit. So that's something that we got to work on. You were guarding A.J. Jacobson a lot tonight. He came in as a pretty hot um, three-point shooter, didn't make a three tonight. Um, you know, can you talk about your defense on him and how you kept him off the uh, there? Yeah, you know, Coach just said that, uh, you know, he was a great player. I think he was shooting like 81% or something like that coming in to the game. So uh, we knew that he just loved to shoot the ball and he could really shoot it at elite level. So uh, we kind of wanted to make it put him on the floor a little bit and see what he could do that way. Malcolm, you shot 21% from three last year. Obviously, you're shooting a lot better than that this year. Mm -hmm. What's been the biggest key for you to kind of turn that around? Um, just confidence and reps. You know, every day just getting reps in practice. And Coach Mack and the staff and even my teammates are still in me that they believe that I can shoot. And every day just getting those reps. Malcolm, what does it say about your team to have um, 23 assists on 31 field goals? Tonight. How did you feel like the offense was flowing? I thought the offense flowed well. I thought we shared the ball a lot, and um, I love the way we played on offense. I mean, it was fun. It was exciting. I enjoyed myself playing with my teammates. Do you feel like your chemistry is at a good place right now? I mean, any team that starts the season has a little time when they're trying to find each other out. I, I feel it. I feel though the chemistry is like okay, but I feel like we can be so much better with chemistry. <coughs> and I think that a lot, like as the season progresses, we'll be a, a, a lot better for sure. Trey, thoughts on um, now the now you're able to look ahead to uh, to Baylor in a big matchup on the road against another top ten team. Your thoughts on that? Uh, you know, um, don't know much, don't know too much about them. I just know that they're a big team, and um, you know they're heading in the right direction as well. You know, I don't think they started top twenty five, but now they're top ten. So I think it's going to be a very, very good team and a very good game. Trey, 23 points tonight. Do you feel like this year you've gotten off to um, a different start than last year? Do you feel more comfortable this year? You know, you talked about losing 15 pounds mm -hmm. in the off season. Uh, yeah, I would say I feel just a little bit more comfortable um, when I play at this type of weight. Uh, it's just easier to do a lot of things. I will say that I've kind of been inefficient, you know, but uh, hopefully you know, I'll just keep getting reps up and that'll change. But, yeah. But Trey, does it, does it feel good? Because last year it felt like, or in the past two years, it felt like you relied on your jump shooting more. Mm -hmm. Where this year it hasn't really been there for you early on the way. And normally it is, <coughs> and you're still scoring you know, 20 points pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Does that feel good to know that the new things you're trying to add to your game are working? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I, I try not to rely on that three ball too much. Um, you know, live by the three, die by the three. And uh, I try to change that philosophy. But, um, yeah, especially, like I, like you said earlier, losing weight kind of helped that too, being able to add, incorporate new things to my game. So, Trey, is this the kind of complete performance you look for? The 23 points, but you also had the seven assists. You had five rebounds. You contributed a lot of different ways. Is that, that what you look to accomplish? Yeah, you know, I kind of want to be that all-around player, you know, um, just doing whatever they need me to do in any aspect of the game. Um, you know, hopefully uh, just keep my energy up and everything else will follow. 
it was a pretty comprehensive performance tonight, but they did have number 23 scored a career high 18 points. Was he someone on the scouting report that you guys were looking at, you know, to <coughs> really stifle, or were the other guys in front of him? Uh, yeah, he was definitely on the scouting report. Um, you know, he, he, he was a good player. Um, I just think we didn't do really a good job, like I said, the second half, um, really locking down on defense and uh, create opportunities for him. All kudos to him for that. Is Cullen Barr getting a little too confident in the <laughs> shot selection back in? You know, we talked about that on the bench, uh, you know, because the bigs get, none of our bigs get that three-point love. So, you know, when he came out there, did that pick and pop, uh, started a little controversy against the, the bigs. So. Yeah, I thought the rule was if you miss, you got to come out. Yeah, I mean. Max getting kind of soft on it. Yeah, he's, he's getting a little, a little soft on us, a little lazy. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you.